Welcome back. We are continuing our discussion with Carlton Robinson and Jane Schofield relating the Jacks Bridges program to local businesses. NS Pelham and Associates CPA is one such business that is large, but yet is helping reach out to smaller businesses. Jane, explain to us how NS Pelham and Associates is doing that. Well, I'm, our firm, we have, a, we have a vision and a purpose that really is about growing Jacksonville one relationship at a time. Mm -hmm. So we believe in, you know, our, uh, we want our businesses that we work with to be successful. And we do that at the company level. We look at our clients and just say, we, how can we help you grow? Mm -hmm. In our firm, we have got so much talent, so much accounting, special knowledge. We have a lot of our folks who have got industry experience, meaning they've been out there working as business owners or with business owners before or after being in public accounting. Right. We want to share that with the business owners. Mm -hmm. So when this was brought to our firm, to, did we want to be a partner? We were like, absolutely, because this just helps get that information out to a group of people that we might not have the ability to get to. Our clients are, are usually at a certain level um, financially. Whereas the Jacks Bridges program are, are, you know, they're more of the entrepreneurial just getting started. Right. And I believe that everybody out there should have this knowledge, and our firm does as well. We want to see these businesses succeed. It's a fantastic networking experience. What is the cost for something like this, Carlton? So there's no cost currently to the program. The way that we're able to finance it is through our members, uh, who many of them, such as Ennis and Pelham, come aboard and they actually sponsor and then our staff actively seeks grants for supporting the small business community mm -hmm. and so collectively we're able to offer the program at little or no cost to those who want to grow their business. I know that some of the people that go through this particular program um, are given all kinds of skills how to dress for success and so forth and, and oftentimes you would think one would know that but but not so much especially when, when they're small businesses starting up and so you as a fantastic group and we can see a picture there of, of some of your members it, you you get this point across to them in in a way that is is not derogatory you're actually able to help and shape them through this process because this is the first time they've ever gone through it right mm -hmm. and and I would say the structure of the program it's a simulation but it's a simulation of your own business it's real and so as you're going through you're analyzing um, the way that you present your business. We often uh, share with them that the 30-second ele elevator speech mm -hmm. is not enough in Jack's Bridges. You've got to be more detailed. You've got to identify your stakeholders. You've got to identify your value proposition. You have to understand your revenue models. And you could be prompted for that information at any time when you're faced with interacting with a large corporation. And mm -hmm. so, again, it's like a simulation but on your own business. It's almost like you're training people. Right. And, you know, I think the key here, too, is in addition with, with the networking, is the open lines of communication. Because we're able to ask you guys um, questions because we may not know. And because you, you are all connected, that really helps this whole thing take form. A lot of times what will happen, so uh, one of the classes that I, or two of them that I teach is one of them is understanding your financial statements because they believe it's so important for business owners to really understand their numbers so that they can make decisions, additionally access to capital, and we get them ready for that so that they really have, they can bring a package to a bank and say, you know, this is what I need. But you're right about that communication because so often they don't know the language that they're supposed to be using. And once we start doing that and we start getting everybody on the same page and talking that same language, so much can happen. And I think this just takes every business owner to a whole different level. It's, it's almost like you have to, like, get them to know the lingo when in Rome, you know, because they've never really been experienced to it prior to sometimes coming to you. Correct. And, right. and that's one of the biggest advantages at the Chamber. I mean, we're interacting with different sized businesses every day. Many of them are serving on our board. And what they've communicated to us is some of the obstacles and hurdles that they have to supporting small business. Mm -hmm. We integrate those into Jack's Bridges to create a better vendor pool. I think it's, it's wonderful what you're doing and helping so many businesses yes. get started. I know last week um, we showcased one of those businesses um, here on Look Local, and, and it, was, it was marvelous to meet her and see how she's getting connected um, with, with some of the other firms and the larger firms in the area. We only have about a minute left. 
What final thoughts would you two like to leave? Ladies are always first. Aww. Well, thank you. What a gentleman. He really is. I think one of the things is um, leaving with the idea that every business owner has the ability to be in this program. We've got, we've got an open enrollment. We look at all kinds of different businesses. We are here to help you succeed. We do not, we, there's, there's not a lot of barriers to this other than you need to be a business owner. Mm -hmm. We really want to help. And I think understanding that is, is important. Okay. All right. Listen, thank you both for coming in. Information is up there right now on your screen. And, of course, you can call the Jacks Bridges Program, which is part of the Jacksonville Chamber of Commerce, for more information. I can't thank you both enough for coming in. Karen, thank you. you. Loved it. All right. Well, this Saturday, the Jacksonville Giants will be taking on the Chicago Steam. Tip-off is at 7.30, but a pregame party starts at 5.30 and includes bounce houses for the kids, food, tru food trucks, rather, and much more. For more information, you can log on to JacksonvilleGiants.com.